I'm Ishwar Puri. I'm a professor of engineering at McMaster University. In our lab, we have a long history of working on innovation and on research that can be translated for human good. Today in the lab, we work on two particular kinds of problems. The first issue concerns various nanotechnologies that can be used to develop new materials and devices. We put nanomaterials in soft polymers, for instance, to make them hard in some places, make them weak in some places and flexible. Here, we use a technique called biomimicry. We look to nature, the wings of a dragonfly. We look to the wings of birds, which are soft in some places, hard in others, so that we can make materials that can crumple, that are more biologically feasible, so that we can learn from nature and make useful materials. We also make inks. We put nanoparticles into liquids and then we print the resulting nanomaterial onto surfaces. One of the applications here, for instance, is a biosensor. And that biosensor can sense E. coli or the bugs that lead to Legionnaire's disease. Why is this important? Because everybody requires food security. If our biosensor can indicate the presence of E. coli bacteria, we would not have to have a lettuce recall. We would not have to have a massive meat recall. We could be sure that the food that we are eating is not tainted, that the well-being of our families and ourselves is assured. We also work on other problems with nanomaterials that can make better supercapacitors and batteries, which can then translate into better and more efficient devices in the future. We have a focus on sustainability. How these devices that we make that have batteries or that use other power sources can be better insulated so that we don't lose energy. A combination of all these efforts leads to a solution that's driven by a core value of our laboratory. And that is we work for the human good. We work towards sustainability, we work towards food security, and in this way, by coming up with these solutions, we hope to stack them, aggregate them, so that we can solve the grand challenges that are facing our society.